Hi, it's Kylie from Painted Wing. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating how to paint a pelican with watercolors. For brushes, I'll be using a number 6, a number 8, a number 16, and a 3 over 0 round brush. As for paper, I'm using Arches Cold Press watercolor block paper. As for paint colors, I am using Payne's Gray, Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, Cadmium Orange, Cadmium Yellow, Rose, and Prussian Blue. For this painting, I'll be starting off with the more detailed parts, like the eye and the beak. For this process, I'm using a wet on dry technique. Next, I'll be adding some rose colored paint around the eye, again using my small brush, outlining the area and blending it out. I am not using too much water for this process. After I add my pink paint, I'll be adding some gray right here. Now I'll be blending the gray I just added with some Prussian blue paint. The pelican has some skin folds that I'm trying to paint in. Now I'm going to trace around the eye using my gray paint again. For this step, I'm using very little water to help keep things tight and in control. Next I'll be filling in the beak here with my orange paint. I'm keeping the orange paint pretty light.
Now that the detailed part of the painting is complete, I'll be working on the neck and body. I'm going to lightly erase my pencil lines here so they appear pretty faint. I'm going to start off by adding yellow paint right here. I'm adding my wet paint to dry paper. Try not to hit the paint from earlier or it might bleed. Next I'll be adding water to the back of the neck here. Next I'll be adding a mixture of my gray and blue paint directly to the water I just added. Here I rotated my paper, and I'll be drawing out some little hairs to the pelican's head. For this next part, I'll be using raw umber and paint gray. I'll also be using a larger round brush. This is my number 16. For this part, I'm also loosening up a bit. And I'm going to erase a line here. And then some quick brush strokes. Try not to overthink the loose painting process. I know this process can look easier than it might actually be. You can see I'm just adding colors directly to the wet paper and allowing them to mix on the paper. I am going back into this area with my smaller brush, adding some details and contrast. And then to create texture, I'm adding splashes of clean water to the wash while it's still wet. Here you can see the texture forming. After the wash is dry, I'll be painting out some feather shapes using my smallest round brush again, dipped into my gray paint. And then here's the final result. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you have any questions.